Hello dear students, this is Miss Nihal Zeher and together in this video we are going to discuss the novel for the first preparatory, The Prisoner of Zenda. The first thing you need to know about this novel is the name of the author or the writer. This novel was written by Anthony Hope. This is a fiction novel, which means that all the characters and the events are not real. So this is the, ca so this is the writer's imagination. So what comes to your mind when you read the title, The Prisoner of Zenda? The first thing you need to think about is the meaning of prisoner. What is a prisoner? A prisoner is a, is a person who is kept in prison because he committed a crime or made a mistake or maybe because some powerful people want to get rid of him. And this has happened a lot in the past days. Okay, what about Zenda? Zenda may be the name of the prison or may be the name of the town where this prison is. So, uh, by starting reading The Prisoner of Zenda, you are going to find more about who is this prisoner and what is Zenda. Talking about prisons and things like that, it seems that the main idea or the main theme of this novel is adventure. Actually, this novel is about adventure and romance. Let's move on together to chapter one. The chapter is introduced by the title The Rassendals and the Elfbergs. Who are the Rassendals and who are the Elfbergs? These are two important families. The Rassendals, they live in London, England, and the Elfbergs, they are the royal family in Ruritania. Of course, there isn't such a real country called Ruritania in our world, but this is uh, the writer's imagination as we explained before. So these are the two main families that we are going to talk about during this novel. Chapter one introduces two characters at the beginning of the chapter. One of them is considered the main character in our novel, which is Rudolf Rassendel. So, Rudolf Rassendel is going to be our hero. He is the main character because his character is going to grow and is going to develop throughout the novel. The other character is called Rose. What is the relationship between Rudolf Rassendel and Rose? Rose is his sister-in-law. She is his brother's wife. So, Rudolf Rassendel has got a brother. Yes, his name is Robert. And actually, Robert is a very important man. He is a lord, Lord Berlisdon. Rose was angry with Rudolf Rassendel and she tells him, I wonder when you are going to do anything useful, Rudolf. And on the other hand, Rudolf was very calm and he said, why should I do that? Rudolf Rassendel thinks that it's not important for him to do any work or to have a job because he comes from this rich, important, popular family, so he doesn't need to work. He thinks that he's got enough money to do whatever he wants, so he doesn't need to work. You must be curious and you want to know what does Rudolf look like? Actually, Rudolf has got this dark red hair and long straight nose. This is what he looks like. On the other hand, his brother Robert, actually, he looks differently. He has got dark black hair. So there is a big difference in their features. Although they are brothers, but they don't look alike. Rudolf and Rose were having breakfast during their conversation and when Robert entered the room he noticed that Rose was a little bit angry, maybe cross, so he started to think what was going on and Rudolf told him that Rose was angry with him because he doesn't have anything to do or doesn't have work to do and because he's got red hair. Do you want to know why does Rudolf look different from his brother? Where did he get this dark red hair from? In the same room there were many pictures on the wall of members of the Rassendel family. One of them was a picture of a very beautiful lady and her name was Lady Amelia. Lady Amelia lived 150 years ago. 
Lady Amelia once married from the Elfberg family, and the Elfberg family, most of them has got, have got this dark red hair and the long straight nose. So when Lady Amelia had her baby, naturally he inherited these features. The baby was born with the dark red hair and the long straight nose. That's why every now and then with the succession of the generation in the Rassendel family, some members in the Rassendel family were born with the same features. One of them was our hero, Rudolf Rassendel. Rose even asked Robert if he could move away the picture from the wall, the picture of Lady Amelia. But on the other hand, Rudolf Rassendel was not angry or ashamed of anything. Actually, he was proud to look different and he was proud to have this red hair. Actually, he referred to himself sometimes as an Elfberg. Let's remember again who are the Elfbergs. They are the royal family in Mauritania. They have been for hundreds of years and they will always be. Finally, Rudolf Rassendel wanted to make Rose happy and to please her, so he promised her to find work in six months. Actually, he had an idea. He would visit Roritania. Yes, this is something that no one in his family has ever done before. He read in the newspaper that the new king in Roritania is going to have his coronation in three weeks. What is a coronation? A coronation is the party where they make the ceremonies and everything for the new king and they put the crown on his head and he becomes the new king of the country. So he thought it would be a good idea for him to visit the country for the first time in his life, to attend the coronation of the new king and the new king's name is Rudolf the Theft. Yes, they have got the same name. All right. He never told anyone in his family that he was going there. Actually, he told them that he was going to Austria. So here the adventure begins. Follow me in chapter two to find out what is going to happen in Roritania. I want you to guess, try to think what is going to happen there.